Hey guys, Connor Doobie here, Director of Sales and Marketing at Active Blogs, and I hope you're ready for some Chalk Talk, because I got some good stuff to share, some exciting stuff for you marketers. I would like to break apart and share with you how you, as a marketer, as a business development leader, can win big in 2019. All right, I'm here as a resource for you, and I want to shift the way that We've done B2B sales and marketing for years and years now. A lot of people are still so heavily reliant on traditional methods. So I wanna help you make that shift. 2019 is going to be a big year for marketing. There's a lot of new stuff coming out and I wanna help you weed out the noise and create focus, which actually brings me to my very first point. So I've got my trusty uh, board here. This is rolling. I just want to make sure since I'm rolling solo dolo today. So how to win big in 2019, especially when it comes to marketing. Well, the first piece of this, interestingly enough, has to do with mentality, marketers, focus, focus. I just got off the phone the other day with a marketing team, very large company. They provide SaaS products. Uh, multi-million dollar business and I talked to some folks in the marketing department okay these guys are selling to sophisticated CTOs CIOs directors leaders and they're talking about like Instagram okay Facebook and all these other channels email um, that they're trying to deploy out their strategy. They're trying to market. They're trying to grow brand awareness. So they say, here's the deal. I talk to far too many people that tr really spread themselves too thin. They try to be everywhere. They try to be on every platform just to tell their CEO that we're on social media, like we're on every platform, but focus is going to drive the results get really good and dominate on a platform like LinkedIn, for example, then scale out, then scale out to Instagram, but you're gonna get much more social media traction and reach focusing on, plat on a single platform. Find one channel that you can dominate that you're not already, okay? And if you're not already aware, LinkedIn is the place to be for this. If you're in B2B sales and marketing, I know there's a lot of noise about Instagram. I know there's a lot of noise about Twitter. I know there's a lot of noise about Facebook. Guys, LinkedIn is where you need to start, so focus. Let me check, check my notes here real quick. Number two, how else can we win big? So, in the era of headline readers, which we are, we're in the era of being headline readers. We consume bite-sized pieces at a time of content and marketing collateral, marketing resources. Micro content is going to be the next play that's going to help you dominate next year. Micro content. So uh, traditionally, I mean, mo the majority, most people have blogs, right? Or videos or white papers or testimonials, case studies, and these are good. These are pillar pieces of content. But from a blog, you could create probably multiple pieces of content from a single blog post, a six, 800 word blog post. You can create a video, a pic, a podcast, okay, a status update. So your salespeople can literally take segments out of your pillar content and create multiple pieces out of this. You can create, um, what else? Like something else that you could craft out of this would be a, uh, uh, trying to think here. Anyways, we'll just stick with these. So video pic, uh, infographic, podcast, uh, visual is really big. Because again, like the, the point of doing this is pattern disrupt. 
That's why you're trying to market in the first place, pattern disrupt. If you're looking the same as your competitors, you're gonna have a big challenge come 2019 when everyone else is making a huge push in their content and they're building all those resources uh, right now. So focus, micro content, and then last, build brand brand ambassadors. So I think hopefully you can still see this. Okay. Yeah. So the future of B2B marketing is personal branding. It's been that way in the B2C space for quite a while now, but the future really is personal branding, social selling. A lot of people have been using LinkedIn wrong. So let me take a step back. Personal branding and social selling on LinkedIn does not mean selling on LinkedIn. I've done a lot of other topics about this, but business to business sales are relationship driven. They're so relationship based. Why would it be any different when it comes to social media? It's not, it, it really isn't. So personal brands, your CEO, your biz dev director, your CTO, like uh, whoever, someone who can be a face or multiple faces within your organization are going to be the main components in terms of distributing this micro content. So now your message that would generally get X amount of engagement on it, leveraging brand ambassadors is going to get you 10 to hundreds of times more engagement, awareness, activity, opportunity by building this out, but you got to start now. If you want to start doing this, building out 2019, nothing in marketing, especially B2B marketing is an overnight success. So now is when you start building this stuff. People seem to think that social media is like this immediate lead generation, you know, immediate conversation platform. It's not, it's like a tomato farm. You start farming, you build it. If you squeeze the tomatoes a little too early, well, you're going to lose that opportunity to eat the tomato. It's no different when it comes to social media and social media selling. So three things, get these rolling right now. Q4, do not forget. Don't forget to share this with your people. I know they need this information. Leave your feedback below. This is what I want you guys focused on going into 2019. Focus. What channel can we dominate before we go out to other channels? Micro content, taking your pillar articles and chopping them up into multiple pieces of content, taking sales insights from your salespeople, turning that into content and allowing them to regurgitate that in micro content uh, as a part of micro content and then build brand ambassadors. Start finding those key folks within your organization that you can really start getting out uh, getting their faces out there. Again, hope that was helpful guys, and I will see you on the other side.